we zijn hier in de huiskamer met de ambassadeur van Jamaica voor Suriname. Zij is uh, tevens ook permanent representative uh, van Jamaica voor uh, de ACS. Mevrouw Natalie Campbell Rodriguez. How do you do? I'm good, thank you. So, um, Miss um, Natalie, you have you took part in the ACS here in Suriname. Yes. So far, um, the organization, how, how have you experienced it so far? I don't have any complaints. And if you know us as Jamaicans, if something is wrong, we're going to say it. But so far, everything is going good. Um, the sessions are interesting and they are necessary for the work we're trying to do within the region as individual nations. Yes, um, speaking of which, as, as a representative of Jamaica, also uh, a part of the ACS, what is most important, the most pivotal thing for Jamaica to be discussed? Well, to be honest, most of the topics that were discussed are pivotal to Jamaica. So whether it is digitalization, it is the matter of the MSMEs um, and their participation, it, the matter of tourism, which I sat on that panel, for example, the matter of sargassum affecting many of our beaches, the matter of you know, rebuilding our mangroves. So all the issues that have been discussed so far are relevant to Jamaica, and we appreciate the fact that there is this forum in which we can have these discussions along with our other neighbors in Latin America and the Caribbean. And during the meeting, the, 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 there was a really strong focus on a, in improving the connectivity yes. between the member states. How do you believe from your uh, expertise as a diplomat that that can be improved upon? <laughs> it's going to take will from each nation to do so. Um, and I, to be honest, our numbers are not great, and that is impacting on our ability to set up connectivity the way we think of it. Quite often when we think about connectivity, we think about flying. But do we have the numbers within the region to operate a financially viable airline? That's the question. We now have Caribbean Airlines doing different routes. We have Arijet, we have Inter-Caribbean doing little bits and pieces. But what we have not fully explored, I believe, is use of our waterways. It may take longer, but it may be the best way to move products, for example, across the region. But then you ask yourself, if a container is sent, say, from Jamaica to Suriname with things in it, will Suriname fill it for it to go back? That's where it becomes expensive. Because we have to have built our trade enough in the region to all, because without that, interconnectivity is not really a viable option the way we see it. Ms. Natalie, you also just mentioned digitalization. If you place it in relation to the connectivity, and I believe in the meetings it was mentioned that um, in, in order that it could be part of a development, how do you believe, do you believe that there is hope for it within the, the member states of the ACS to improve this digitalization in order to improve uh, the connectivity? It is possible because digitalization starts with educating our persons. So for example, in Jamaica, we're now building STEM institutes. So the vision for Jamaica is that within the near future, every Jamaican, will have a handle on digitalization in some form. We, there won't be this fear for the phone. There won't be this fear of our older persons because in another 10 years, I'm in that category of persons, as you can see with the gray hair, uh, as, that, per, that set of persons who are now afraid of the cell phone, not to mention AI, the idea of blockchain. But if you start from an earlier age through STEM institutes and through just the use of it, accessibility for our young people, in no time, you'll have an entire generation of persons who are comfortable using it. And we have to, we have no choice, or we're gonna be left behind. All right, thank you so much for this insightfulness. Um, people, um, where I had it was here, the, the ambassador from Jamaica.